right, right down. Hit, hit, hit. Energy. Hit, go. Thy name Athlete. is Andy Hill. Work on the fundamentals here, guys. Never short on enthusiasm. Extend yourself, high point the ball. Or a tip for his players. With your eyes come down, all right? Or an embedded photographer. So, Ben, you might want to watch out because we'll be running right over you, big fella. Okay? The only former Tiger player on the coaching staff brings a player's passion to fall camp. Throw it, throw it, throw it. There you go. Good. Every day is kind of a good challenge to come up and get up at 7.15 and wake up and get your, get your attitude and your mind right to come out and practice hard. Come off the ball today. Good enthusiasm. Hill always works to motivate his players. For what many consider a glamour position, the life of a wideout is much grittier than most think. Stack back on top and run by the guy. Here we go. The team runs upwards of 70 to 80 offensive plays in a game. Receivers can only expect to actually catch the ball a handful of times. We have at times during two-a-days put a pedometer or some of our strength staff has actually charted the yardage our guys have run. and it's been, It goes into the miles of sprints during one day's practice. On the hop, move your feet. You'll find no diva receivers on this field. Every time, do it the right way. Here we go. And sometimes you like have to like, I'm great, I want the ball. But at the same time, we know that we have a talented group. We know that the ball has to get spread around. And I mean, most of the guys in the NFL that is like the, a dead dominant guy, I mean, some on some teams, he's the dominant guy on that team. But with this group, everyone is just as talented. Everyone is just as good. Yeah, that's the way to go. Yes. That's a catch right there. That's what I'm talking about. Way to go, baby. Here we go. And an experienced group has been challenged by Hill to make a leap this season. We have guys that need to know that uh, Jarrell Jackson, Michael Agnew, Wes Kemp, Brandon Jarrell, those guys are gone, and it's time to step up. Run! Upperclassmen T.J. Moe, Marcus Lucas, and LaDamian Washington feel up to the task. We knew that we had to be leaders of this group with Wes Kemp, Agnew, and Jarrell Jackson leaving, and I think Last year we got a lot of playing time and so we got that experience. So as guys like that, we had to t step up our leadership, especially with a, a talented, deep and talented group like the receivers. Hey dude, how much why did you get in the summer? Huh? How much why did you play this summer? While they help bring along the new blood in the receiver core. But I might want to bounce Dory over a little bit today. You know, I might bounce Dory over to the Y a little bit too. Which just happens to include someone you've probably heard of. I just want to make sure you're going full tilt. Okay, full speed, a big, big focus for you is getting your stance. Okay, make sure your chest is down, widen your feet out, and then come off full speed, okay? Doriel Green Beckham made headlines when he chose Mizzou over virtually every program in the country last February. But as he officially becomes a Tiger during fall camp, Hill strives to keep all of his newcomers focused on improving their game. You want to make sure all the guys are getting ready to play, and I think it's real simple that we got four good freshman at tight end and receiver and all those guys that were capable of playing this year. So it's really easy to keep everybody kind of on the same page. So far, so good. Three steps, Doriel. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Finish, finish, run. Finish, 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 finish. There you go. Good, good job. First practice, we put in a certain number of plays. Second practice, we didn't put anything in, so we could soak it in. Third practice, we put some stuff in. Fourth and fifth practice, we put no, no new plays in. And so our guys are having a couple days to soak in what we put in. We put a lot in when we do it. We call it the fire hose approach. We put a big fire hose on and give them a bunch of formations, a bunch of plays, run, passes, whatever. And so we give them a lot when we do it. But for the next couple days, we let those plays just soak in and learn those plays before we put something else in. So let's help these younger guys a little bit also. Yeah! I love it! Hey, see that cover three coming, baby? See that cover three coming? That's called staying fixed. Way to go, bud. They're soaking it all in now. And way to make a play. In hopes of flooding the SEC with touchdowns this fall. Score! Score! There you go. Good. Out of baby, out of baby. Here we go. I like it. I like it a lot. And uh, I'd like some guys to become consistent so we can become the team we need to be on offense.